But first, KPRC2 is your vaccine central, and we begin tonight with a Houston assisting living facility, an elderly daycare director sounding the alarm, saying that her facility is not getting the vaccines that she says they desperately need. Our Roseanne Aragon is live at Nixon Adult Daycare on Linfield and Ralston in Trinity Gardens tonight with the plea for help. Roseanne? Here at Trinity Gardens, this place is a haven for dozens of senior citizens who live in this neighborhood, a place where generations of family call home. To this day, these facilities have not received the vaccine and the director worries they never will. A place of respite, care, and pride. We want to service our own community. So, we again, we know, a lot of people know us here. We've been here so long. For 20 years, Nixon Home Care has been a Trinity Garden staple, homegrown and thriving in a resource-starved neighborhood. This corner of assisted living facilities and adult daycare is a haven. Fortunately, we haven't had any cases of COVID here, um, and we've been open as an, as an essential place. For Executive Director Shea Tatum, protecting the elderly is personal. She grew up here and is now fighting for the dozens of elderly at Nixon Home Care. To this point, not one of our clients has received the vaccination at all. We've also contacted CVS, Walgreens, because they ask you to register there so that your facility can get the vaccinations. Hours. So we've contacted the city, we've contacted our local representatives. Of work. Hey, we're gonna put you on a list and we're gonna continue to put you on list until you get it. But there are other places that are not very far from here who have been vaccinated. And taking a group trip, she says, isn't safe. Our oldest client here is 95. From 45 to 56 people a day, and you cannot put all of those people on the bus. But she says she'll keep fighting because she says elderly voices need to be heard. We're taking care of the whole person. Now she says there are multiple Nixon home care facilities on this block. She says the seniors deserve to get the vaccine in a way and where they feel safe. Reporting live from Trinity Gardens, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.